First off, I'd like to say I love Houston Van Gogh. This guy's hilarious. I love him. So I like the way he uh, I like the way he sheds his message. So one thing that I like to say, all right. So have you ever been a part of a successful team, and what was your role? That's actually really quite easy, right? So I work for Target stores, and I'm a manager for Target stores. Well, recently I was given the opportunity to open a new store in South Fremont, Pacific Commons, a shopping center that I uh, that I hope one day San Leandro gets this type of shopping center because it's an amazing, sprawling shopping center with a lot of the concierge retail uh, restaurants that, that I would like to see uh, in our city. Um, and opening a new store, you're given a very daunting task of hiring over 200 team members. So we're, we have to hire over 200 people, and it's just us, like seven executives. We have to hire over 200 people. And with this 200 people, we also have to manage a payroll and budget uh, in, the, in the range of $600,000 to $750,000. Now, my job on the team was the, actually the payroll and budget captain. So I was in charge of managing the payroll and budget for $750,000. Uh, and we had to achieve this goal. So in this uh, is all you know, places that you have to rent, uh, construction people, people who put together the picturing, uh, people that uh, actually work for your store and are in training, etc. So in managing this budget over the course of three months in pre-opening phase, we actually made the budget by $60,000. So in that case, I was in charge of the budget and we actually made it by over $60,000. I have over 15 years of local government service, public service work, and local government moves forward only when teams work successfully together. Presently, I work on a cultural and linguistic team in San Francisco, and together on that team, I supervise the Vietnamese, Tagalog, Russian, Spanish, and Chinese um, speakers, and we provide services throughout San Francisco, throughout the healthcare center, where every door is the right door, depend not and it doesn't matter what language you speak, we provide those services. And working with this team, I try to make sure when I'm working on team that people call and ask for me to be on that, their team. And the reason why is because I bring strong listening skills, I'm trustworthy, I'm reliable, I compromise, and most important, I am patient. Thank you. Teams that I've worked with, actually I've worked with many teams and we've been very successful in a lot of different projects. One of the projects that I recall from many years ago is that I worked for the Community Reinvestment and Revitalization Team as was part of the 10,000 home projects in uh, Oakland with, uh, at that time, Mayor Jerry Brown. What we did is we produced programs that made home ownership a real reality for many first-time home buyers. And that's one of the biggest issues that folks face today, being able to afford their home, being able to buy home. And that's a program that I worked on, that where I participated in pr producing the, the business intelligence that allowed that to happen. Uh, there's other projects that I've worked on where we increase, uh, particularly in a specific company, business lending, small business lending, as well as commercial lending. We grew our lending base from $9 billion to $13 billion in the space of two years because of the business intelligence information that I provided. I think those are some of the things that I can bring to the city in terms of looking at the information and providing the best intelligence so that we can make the right decisions. Thank you. The team I'm most proud of working on is, is Team Craig. I founded Team Craig when my best friend was diagnosed with a rare brain tumor. It was all of a sudden, things were running out of control. The doctors kept telling us, just wait, just wait. You know, he's in intensive care. He can't breathe. He can't eat. And I remember one day walking out into the ICU waiting room, and his mom and sister just totally in dejection. And it was in that moment that me and his friends said, you know what? Craig's not going out like this. We're starting Team Craig. It first started as a team to keep Craig positive as positive, um, a positive mentality is the best one, the best cures against illness. But it's, we, we uh, soon realized that we might have to raise money for Craig for his home care. 
And so we embarked on, an, on a, a measure, a quest in the community to raise. We needed more than $10,000. And we, we got it. We, the, the fire department start, took notice of what we were doing. The police department, all these community organizations started donating, asking us what they can do. In my part of Team Crate, I was only one part. We had about 40 to 50 people, all young people, all Crate's friends working. My part was simply the voice. I was the person who issued the blogs and kept our friends up to date on Craig's condition. I was the person who was tasked with researching all of the uh, different cancer treatments that could have been available to him and advising the family. And I was the person who had to speak to friends and, and share information one-on-one -on -one and, and ask for their input on how best we can help our friend. And I feel like I was, I was one person of a 40-person group. You know, we ended up throwing uh, Thanksgiving fundraisers. I wasn't the chef. I didn't decorate. I didn't even bring the guests. But what I did do was I made sure Craig's message got out. I made sure that people understand that here's a young man who is fighting for his life, who's 24 years old and does not deserve to go out like this. And if he does go out, then we're going to make his memory the most inspirational that we ever have. And that's what happened. Craig lost his battle with cancer. Six months from diagnosis to death. But Team Craig still survives. And Team Craig has inspired what I call a new generation of people, that I, of my friends and family, and what we're able to achieve and what's important to fight for.